I want to talk today uh, about a couple items related to, you got it, testing. <laughs> and um, some of you had that sense, right? Uh, now, um, one of the items is something that I'd like you to actually enact over the next, well, in the remaining time for your projects. I can't absolutely require it, but it's it's not amongst the list of required items in the syllabus. But it is a an excellent practice that many past teams in industry and uh, in this class from which they've benefited a great deal. Um, and it's a simple idea. On Thursday, I'm going to be at for Thursday, I'm going to be asking you to watch a video that will help you take even more advantage of this process. But right now, I just want to get the idea into you because, heck, as as early as the tutorial hour today, you could put this into practice. Okay, and the idea here is is simple. It has to do with the notion of bug parties. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen and uh, just want to get the get the idea together of or get the idea to you communicate to you the idea of bringing together your team probably in two sub teams working independently at the same time on the same version of the code base we'll see why on thursday to do testing of your application um typically this is testing through the ui for those working with the Oculus, mm -hmm. you may be interested to know that we have an Oculus 3, 512 gigabyte available uh, now in our lab. So if you want to, you've got your second. Yeah. Um, so uh, the idea here is to do ad hoc testing, exploratory testing, interactive testing to find bugs, try to improve the completeness of defect reports that you have um, and improve coverage for tests uh, by challenging the system in various particular ways. Um, and uh, the name is designed to connote that it's a very social activity and it often is a lot of fun. Um, although you're discovering things which are at some level um, you know, uh, less enlivening, less, <laughs> they don't fire your spirit up to hear this, a couple bugs in this area of the code that, that you thought was finished. Um, often that's a real morale boost because it's, it's, you know, in the context of a lot of joint efforts to see who can find the most bugs or the most interesting bugs or the most, um, uh, high severity bugs or the highest priority bugs. Um, and as such, it, it can be a real fun activity. Um, uh, sometimes it's accompanied by pizza or, you know, refreshments, etc. Um, and you're exploring interactively and coming out of it, you often get a sense of where the system is soft, where you could fruitfully test further outside the bug party. You have a set of defects that hadn't been discovered before, right? Um, and you have a set of discoveries made manually that could then be turned into automated test cases through the UI, for example, with fill in the blank, you know, selenium, water, playwright, cypress, whatever, um, uh, or, or just UI-based testing to um, to automate testing to discover you know these issues that were found. Not all of them can be tested this way. There may be non-functional needs, slow performance, security related concerns, aesthetic problems, you know, really ugly use or usability issues that can't be turned readily into automated test cases you know, that are meaningful. But um, a lot of times they can't. Uh, and, you know, often it's you, you reward the people who have 
the biggest bounty bugs that they found or or found uh, the most interesting or the most creative or successful testing approach. So I would like to see you undertake this. And on Thursday, for Thursday, I'm going to be asking you to watch a video which will give you an approach that you can use bug parties conducted by two different groups simultaneously or with otherwise without communication on the same version of the system in short, in short succession, where you can use the results to calculate the number of of defects within the system that you haven't yet found, okay? The number of defects that have yet to be found. You can actually use uh, use cover, uh, use uh, reasoning about the defects that were found within defined times, should be the same amount of time for each of the groups, roughly the same amount of people. And you can use it to, to estimate the number of uh, uh, unknown defects or defects that haven't yet been found. We will talk about that on Thursday. You'll get an understanding of how to do it through the video. And I would love it if you could apply that. All you have to do now, if you want to do bug parties, is get two groups going, have it for similar amounts of time, similar numbers of people, record the defects, and have them work independently, so not communicating with each other. So they each are looking for defects. And you know, trick is going to be how many defects do they find in common compared to the number they, they haven't found. Okay. So I would submit to you the importance of getting started on some bug parties. Past sessions of this course, teams have raved about the fun experience of the bug parties and how productive they were in assessing the quality of your application. And I want to be clear. Uh, In this, in this class, there's a real emphasis on quality, ensuring quality for code base. We see it in, in investments in inspections and peer review. We see it in investments in testability of your applications and in multiple levels of testing. I love seeing applications that are really solid, but I love seeing bug parties, which are productive in finding new defects. Please do not feel that you have to report very few defects shown because otherwise I think you'll have low quality code base. I will reward, I will view it as really desirable. If you can find defects, to me, that's a great sign that you're, you're doing really good testing. So give it a try. It's, there's not too many days left, but you know, in the nine days remaining, see if you can fit in two bug parties in parallel or, or you know, do, do more even. And I will bet you will be rewarded by finding some interesting defects. Turn your mind to where could bugs live? You know, like turning over rocks outside in a, in a forest or something. Be, be thinking actively, where could we find these? Where could they possibly live? If you really turn your mind to that for a couple hours, you'll, you'll be surprised often by how successful you are at finding things, okay? So I'd like you to do that. That's actionable. Um, and I would love to see what you come up with, okay? Okay, great. So that was just um, a preface on bug parties, a topic to which we will return on Thursday with respect to estimating yet undiagnosed defects, okay? So I'm gonna stop my uh, sharing for a moment and it exhibits, I found a bug at Zoom. <laughs> it will not stop sharing, it's a known bug. I've encountered it many 